Let me uh, find myself over here on YouTube real quick. Get to my channel. Live. Here we go. It says I'm upcoming. Gotta watch an ad. I cannot tell you how much it stresses me out that I have to watch an ad to get to my own video. Um, okay, there we go. Here I am. All right, guys, welcome to Whiny Wednesday. Not sure who's going to pop on, who isn't going to pop on. Um, it might be a little loud today. I've got two out of three children home. I went ahead and pulled out a bunch of stuff. But this is um, what I'm scrapbooking. I am practicing. Practically, hi Deb, hi Belinda. I am um, scrapbooking Alcatraz photos. So I figured people were getting probably a little tired of Disney and um, Disney trash can photos. So I'm doing some Alcatraz. They're not the best photos. This is a picture of the C block sign. And then this is just a picture of one C block, obviously. Um, but I felt like this was something that I wanted to get done. Probably going to have Alcatraz is probably going to have its own album. Also, fun fact. Um, I bought a new mat today. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it is, shoot, it's May I Scrap Lift You. It's the last day. And I was going to find someone to scrap lift and I didn't even, I did not even do that. You guys, I'm so sorry. Now I can't get my video to come back. I can't, I can't see what's going on. Um, so I didn't pick someone to scrap lift. I'm sorry. Hi to everyone that is popping on. Um, even think about it until literally just right now so how is your week going you guys um, my week has been a little bit ridiculous so um, we have a district admin that you know kind of belongs to our um, district manager and she was very, very upset uh, today because my schedule that I inputted, it looked like I was leaving early a couple days. And she called my boss and gave him the business about it. And I'm like... I answered the phone when she called at the store, so why didn't you ask me? Especially when I said, this is Sandy. Um, second of all, it was an input mistake. Like, I was entering the schedule online, and instead of doing 1700 for 5 o'clock, I did 1500 because I was thinking 5 o'clock. So, she gave him the business about how, you know, I'm trying to cheat time and all this kind of nonsense so let's be real guys if I wanted to cheat time I wouldn't be stupid enough to actually put it in to our timekeeping system it just you know it just stresses me out a little bit you know what I'm saying but other than that it's been a good week um markdowns are happening um so that's exciting and I I bought something really excited about the things I bought at work. Um, so if you are in the market for a sil silhouette, uh, silhouette four, cameo four, they should be about $104 right now. If your store had any left to mark down, I have a couple in my store and I'm, I'm so tempted, you guys. I'm so and right, Deb, who can get tired of Disney trash cans? I actually have, um, I 
Alcatraz trash cans that are not Disney trash cans, but I took a picture of them as well. Um, but if you're in the market for a silhouette, um, they are about a hundred bucks right now at your local Hobby Lobby. So that's pretty exciting. I'm tempted, you guys. Like, I have a Cricut. Obviously, I have the laser. Um, but I really want... Um, I don't know if I really need the silhouette or I just want it because it's a cheap price. Okay. So, in case you haven't noticed, I'm trying to make my little Alcatraz photos pretty right? Like I want them to be pretty. This, I was talking about papers that you need from Paper House Productions, like good basic papers. This is one of them. It is a Christmas paper. So on this side, it has snowflakes on top of like a muted red, like a burgundy color. But on this side, it is golden dots. Cheers, guys. So this is golden dots. And I am a big fan of the golden dots. Okay, so I'm gonna tear it. I'm gonna tear it here. And I'm actually surprised, woo, that's a weird little tear. That's fine, it's got like a little sexy curve going on right there. Um, I'm actually surprised it's not louder than it is right now in my house because Chloe and Lana are both home. Chloe graduated college uh, this year, if you guys haven't been around and didn't know that. And um, thanks, Marilyn. Um, sometimes it's just utter nonsense. Um, and then Lana is home this week on vacation. So, right? You know what? I, I think I, I, do I need it? That's the problem. Do I need it? I'm, I'm toying with the idea of getting the Silhouette business software. And I'm wondering if it will be cheaper if I buy the Silhouette and upgrade. Like, these are the things that are running through my mouth. And then I'm like, does the business need a Silhouette? Or does Sandy need a Silhouette? Hey, good job, Deb. Yeah, that's going to be a day-by-day -day thing. Um, I thought I was going to be able to use this week to kind of catch up. Or not catch up, kind of get ahead. But honestly, I've got I've got two kids home. Life is life is a lot different when the two kids are back home. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put this here. And this is I feel like this is probably a go-to design for me, which is like the border, a strip, whether it's torn, ribbon, whatever it is. This is this is definitely kind of a go-to look. Um, and I'm okay with that because, oh, my adhesive's getting ready to run out. I'm okay with having go-to looks, right? Because they don't, they don't look the same. So I could definitely pull out another layout that does this kind of same basic thing. And it doesn't look the same because I'm using different products. I'm, I'm, I hate when the photos aren't the same exact size. Like they were ordered from the same exact place they came in the same exact order and they're just off a skosh that drives me insane like these are these are the pet peeves that i have in my life and honestly if those oh oh what did i do i was so upset that the photo was not correct that i was going to trim it down to make it correct and like a dummy It was already matted on my mat. Duh. Let's see. A better question. Do I have room for it? I do have room. I I have I do have room for it. So room is not the problem. The question is, do I really need it? Um, because I'm I don't think I need it, you guys. I think I just talked to myself out of it. But I, I also am struggling with the fact that I just trimmed down this photo mat because I was upset about the size of the photo. 
So now my, my photo is literally on the bottom of, literally on the bottom of that. But I think that that's okay. I think I'm just gonna build up something down there and we're not, we're not even gonna worry about, oh, I had stamps. I was gonna stamp some things. I was also gonna ink some edges. That's why I pulled these guys out. Okay, you know what? I'm not stamping or inking. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. I'll buy some of your room. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. There's a whole corner of the room. The room is not a travesty anymore, you guys. Um, I'm really proud of myself. Um, it's not a travesty. But I gotta get some things listed on the site. So that will be happening. But honestly, it's taken a back burner this week because the girls are home. So. I mean, Chloe's moved back after graduation. Lana's just visiting, so. And Chloe was only home a week before Lana came home from vacation. So it's it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be real. It's gonna be really real. Okay, let's figure this out. All right, so I want to title this C Block. So I pulled out these guys. These are my Daisy D's and um, basic gray letters. Now, I think the original intent of these letters way, way back in the day was to actually use them as letters on your page, but I did not do that um, because I was super cheap way back in the day. Um, and then do I want that C? Um, so I just, I bought the letters and, um, I saved them and I have, I think I want that C and I have used them as stencils and templates and that kind of thing and just cut my letters out of them. You still have some too. <laughs> and I, I like it. Like, I think it's great. And, and you know, I'm doing this, and this is probably ridiculous, but I, I need another piece of paper. I'm doing this, and I'm thinking I could just so easily cut a letter out of paper if, you know, I used a what? A silhouette or a cricket that I actually already own. But for some reason, some reason I'm not doing that um, I'm still tracing and cutting out <laughs> all right let's figure out what I want to cut out all right I like this plaid this is the Home Again paper collection from Cartabella, and I have to say, I absolutely adore this collection. The colors in it speak to my soul, and I just love it. Okay. So, I'm going to share with you guys what I do when I am a doofus and want my letters to look a certain way, right? So, I know I want the C to look this way, and I know I want this to be the pattern up. So I put the C on top of it like this, flip it over, and then move my C back here so when I cut it out, it is the correct way. Now, you guys might be thinking, wow, Sandy, you are a little bit of a doofus. Um, and that's okay. You can totally think that if you want to, uh, but to me, it just makes sense right? Like I'm one of those people that has to print out the test page to figure out which way the printer is printing. So this just makes it easy. Now I hope I didn't screw this up because <laughs> I'm on glass three of wine right now. Oh, so if I did, I'm blaming the wine. <laughs> it's the wines. 
There are never enough letters. Exactly. Okay. I am also in love with these scissors. They are non-stick. They're from Fiskars. And I think that they're gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna cut this out. And this is gonna be a struggle because I don't have my glasses on. I have got to tell you guys, in the past couple years, my vision has gone to pot. So I've been wearing bifocals since I was 28. I am now 43, I just turned 43. And I would say in the past six months, my vision has just deteriorated. And I know it's that age because you know, your arms get too short and you have to pull things back like this. Um, but it's just, it's just such a pain, right? And then I feel sorry for the people that don't have, that don't have the need for bifocals because they have to put on their reading glasses all the time. So at least I've been blessed enough where my eyes are bad for distance and up close and I wear bifocals. That was random. But honestly, Whiny Wednesday is, yeah, that turned out great. Whiny Wednesday is a time for me to run my mouth. Let's, let's be real. <laughs> okay. So I am very curious as to what everyone is working on right now. So I know Deb was doing some uh, 30 days of sketches, which I am going to participate in. I just don't know if I'm going to do every 30 days. So usually when these series come up, and I love playing doing the series with my friends, but may I scrap lift you this past month? I think I did it like three times. I have a hard enough time committing to my own series, let alone other people's series. But um, 30 Days of Sketches is one that I really like because there's no thought behind it, right? Like you have a sketch, you pull out photos, and you, you use the sketch. So eh, maybe I'll do it every day. I haven't figured that out yet. So yeah. Okay. Did I just cut off the little bit of that C? I don't know, but we're gonna put that piece in there. All right. Run, I've run my mouth enough. So this is gonna go here. And I do need a base down here. Wow, Deb, you are a sewing fiend. That is awesome. Now do you, I think I've asked you this question before and I'm so sorry if I have and I just don't remember. Do you use the same sewing machine for your fabric as you do your, um, your papers? Do you sew on your papers? I feel like I am just being such a dunderhead right now. Nothing is really sticking in my mind today. Like I am, I'm struggling and that's even without the wines like today at work I forgot a whole bunch of things it's just it's just one of those days where you're like what is going on in my life I can't get my act together type thing those are the days where I just want to sit back relax and not worry about anyone or anything or have to manage anyone's expectations Right? Like those are just the times you rarely sew on paper, but you change the needle. Yes, paper is very dull for needles. I need a new sewing machine. My sewing machine kind of went on me. So, I need a new one. It's about that time. All right. So, I think I'm going to put some burlap down because. I am a fan. Plus it just feels like it fits, right? So 
So I tell people all the time that I am an emotional scrapbooker and a lot of the choices that I make for scrapbook scrapbooking are choices that I make because it feels right. It, oh, my ATG is getting ready to um, run out. Um, I do it because it feels right, not because it's any kind of design rule or an art rule or somebody said you should do it this way. I do it because it feels good while I'm doing it, right? Try a brother. Oh my word, Deb, let me just tell you. I gotta get some adhesive, so I gotta go across the room to the closet anyway. Oh no, there it is. But I gotta unplug it, because it's still plugged in from when I, oh come on. So this was like my $40 jobby. See, it's, supposed to, it's lightweight, portable, really supposed to be one that was just going to be just going to be for my paper because, you know, I've moved on from sewing in my life. Don't do that anymore. I really don't want to do it anymore, but it broke on me. I feel like I should have just bought a decent machine, but so that little brother right there just just broke so maybe if I buy a better brother <laughs> hi Deborah um, maybe if I buy a better brother right I don't know I just remember sewing in home ec class and just being like oh man I can't wait until I can get my own sewing machine and I had a great sewing machine and it lasted for a good 20 years. Um, but something inside of it went bad. Something inside of it went bad and it would have cost more to repair it than it would have been to buy a new sewing machine. So I was like, no, forget that. We'll just get rid of it. And um, I'll get this little cheap cheap guy to just get me through to, to just sew on paper. So yeah, right. Well, I know I, I definitely learned my lesson now, like not the cheap, not the cheap machine. Okay. I'm was looking over at with disdain at my, um, at my, uh, machine, but now I'm going to Add some, I'm going to add some washi tape to my, to my um, burlap right here. So this is actually something, if this usually happens to my washi tape, I end up throwing it away, right? Like the sticky's gone. It's not sticking whatsoever here. And the gold is the gold part is actually sticking on the back of the washi tape. So this was a solid gold washi. Um, it's from Teresa Collins and I'm not crapping on Teresa Collins, uh, at all. So please don't take it that way, but I love the effect that it's done where it's pulling off the gold and leaving some behind. And even if the sticky is gone, right? Like if you pull it off slow, you get more gold left behind. If you pull it fast, you get less gold. So I just really like the way that this turned out. So like I said, I'm not crapping on her at all. Okay. And my tape just ran out. So we're going to replace it. Um, but that is one of the times where I keep a washi where normally I would just chuck that thing in the trash and be really upset about it. You know? Stay away from the cheap singers too. Yeah, I'm just not even going to get a cheap machine. I actually was looking at them at work and we sell some genomes and something else. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even, I don't even think I'm going to buy it from work. Even though I get that sweet employee discount, I think... I'm just gonna do some research and find um, like a good one. That would make me happy to just find a good sewing machine. 
And of course, you know, my husband was like, you should have just let me buy you the decent one that I want it to. And I was like, I know, but you know. You know, sometimes, and we joke about this in my house, sometimes I still have that little poor girl inside of me. And I, I don't, and we joke about it now, but like growing up, I used to joke that we were so poor, we couldn't even buy the 25 cent pot pies that had the crust on the bottom. We had to buy the 12 cent pot pies that didn't have crust on the bottom. They only had the crust on the top, like the frozen pot pies. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and you know, it's hard to let go of that sometimes. You know what I mean? So there's probably a little bit of information into my psyche that you did not want, did not ask for, but you know, I'm sharing. So here we are. Okay. Woo. All right. So I'm putting the adhesive on the washi tape and going to go ahead and place it right over that burlap. So I am losing this, um, really cool pattern right here but i'm getting that little edge and that little edge is more important to me than the pattern right so you you got to figure out what works for you um so yeah i probably could have used a solid one but i liked that little fringe on the outside okay so there is that and then we're going to put c block and i think that this definitely needs inking on it. So you know what? We are going to ink. So these are my travel inks. Um, I actually only, let me pull out the other ones because I think I want the green instead, instead of the brown. I usually only pull, take these inks when I go to retreats. Um, they aren't like water reactive. They're waterproof. They're archival. They're permanent, all those kind of things. Um, but they're really compact and I've got a good selection of colors. So if I'm going to a retreat where space is at a premium in my suitcase because I'm flying or, you know, I'm trying not to use a whole lot of weight, um, then this is what I go for. You remember those pot pies, right? They don't even make crustless pot pies on the bottom anymore. Um, or I haven't, I haven't seen them. No, Deb, you're not, to, you're not taking over the chat. I appreciate, I appreciate every, <laughs> all of your knowledge because you definitely know more than me. See, oh, so that makes me happy. A genome for 25 years. That's great. Right? Like my old machine, I don't even remember what machine it was. We got it, my mother-in-law bought all of us sister-in-laws um, sewing machines for Christmas one year and they were great, like absolutely great, till it died. <laughs> like eventually it dies. Like I know MK has an older sewing machine. Um, I actually sat next to it. <laughs> um, and hers is still going strong. So, but mine, mine was not. Okay. So anyway, love these little ink pads. I keep the little blending foams in there. Um, they don't, right? Like the, the ink pad's a little bit narrower than the foam, but it's not hurting anything. So I'm just going to put it in there. Plus I don't want to mix up these foams with my, um, my distress oxide foams because those are kept in a separate place. Okay. So I've got the C I'm going to pop down some foam on this bad boy. Those bottomless pot pies were the top ramen of our generation. Yes, they were. You know what? Exactly. Yep. They exactly were. I just, yeah. You know, and sometimes that little, uh, 
that little poor girl still still lives inside me. And it's and it's um it's almost weird because part of my childhood I lived in a trailer park, right? And when I lived in the trailer park, it there was no bad connota connotation around it. Like nobody made fun of me because I lived in the trailer park. Nobody was like, oh, trailer trash, anything like that. That all happened when I got older and I moved, like we moved out and we were in other places. Because I remember growing up that there were, trailer parks were just a thing. Like they were just a thing. Um, and our trailer could have never been moved again because it had like additions and stuff put on it. But I just remember it not being it not being a thing. And then when I got older, I was like, oh, it was a thing that, you know, we lived in a trailer park. I mean, I knew people that, that lived on property and they lived on a trailer on their property. So there was never this, like, like I said, this trailer trash vibe from it that came later. So anyway, yeah, I mean, I guess I always knew I was poor growing up because, you know, we got free lunch at school. Um, yeah, I don't know. Wasn't destitute. So I wasn't destitute, but we were definitely poor. Anyway, I'm starting to talk about that a little bit too much. So let's know you have a poor girl inside of you too, right? I think a lot of us, you know, that stuff just, it stays with you, right? Like... Which is probably why it was such a breakthrough for me when I threw away my paper scraps. And, you know, I actually had one person tell me I must have never not, must have, what did she say? I must have never known what it was to scrimp and save if I threw away my paper scraps. <laughs> I was like, you have no idea who I am, lady. You have no idea where I came from or what I've done, or how hard I've busted my rear end to get to the point where I don't have to save my paper scraps like that. I can throw them away and get a new piece of paper, right? I don't know. Anyway, I obviously still have some, some kind of feelings about that. I'm feeling some kind of way. <laughs> Rarely had processed food. Yeah, us too. Do you know what's funny? Is when we were first married and we were two young, broke people, the processed food was so cheap, right? Like I was a big time couponer. I would go to multiple stores. I would end up bringing home just a, a carload full of groceries for like 20 bucks. And I was a couponer like nobody's business. And it was all processed food. And then, and now, uh, we, we don't have processed food in, in the house. Like, you open up our pantry, and I'm like, um, should we even bother having such a big pantry? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. I, I don't remember a hamburger being 25 cents, but I do remember it being 99 cents all the time. My hubby is starting to understand why I need to have a food and toilet paper hoard. Yep. Yep. Just in case. Just in case. Um, it was funny because when COVID hit, I'm not even scrapbooking, I'm just chatting now, but I'm sorry. Um, when um, COVID hit, I just needed toilet paper, right? Like people were freaking out and they were stockpiling toilet paper and I just needed toilet paper. And I remember thinking... If I just would have kept my stockpile up, this never would have happened. I should have bought it. Like, and I'm freaking out about it, but whatever. Right. Deb, I feel like we're like related in some sort of interdimensional thing. I don't know. My mom, my mom couldn't shop either. She would literally hand me a check because back then we wrote checks. She would hand me a check and her um, stuff 
and I would clip the coupons and look through the sale papers and plan the meals and and go buy the stuff and she loved it when I shopped because I would spend less money than she would so right long lost sister all right probably should get this layout done because my family's downstairs waiting for me um they want it to eat together tonight so b l b l oh now one thing i said i was going to do when i moved was look into a zoom room so we could all chat and scrapbook together like that so i think next month in June, I'll have more of my act together um, in regards to my room being set up and just us being a little bit more settled into our life here. So I'm going to look into that. Oh yeah, this is a great green. What color is this? BG 93 green gray. So I got all of these um, Copics, right? And now everybody's like, oh yeah, should I, should I leave my Copics behind? Should I go to this other brand of marker? And I'm like, if you spent all that money on Copics, why in the world would you leave them? Granted, I got mine for, you know, 99 cents plus my discount. So like 85 cents. Um, so I feel like I just scored a huge deal. Um, I'm not going to switch them out, right? Like, I love coloring with these bad boys. And even though I don't color properly with, like, Copic coloring, shading and blending and all that, just have fun with them. And for an 85-cent marker, because that's the way I'm looking at them, they're 85-cent markers because that's what I paid, um... I'm just gonna have fun with them. Yay, Zoom scrapping. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, we were in Leavenworth. It was awesome. So it was funny because we thought that Leavenworth was similar to Solvang, which is in California. Leavenworth is in Washington, in case anybody was wondering. Um, Solvang was in California and it was actually um, started like found it by like Dutch settlers and they settled there and they created a town and it's very themey and Dutch and authentic and quaint and all that. Well, we went to Leavenworth because we heard it was like a similar situation. And then we were in a horse drawn carriage, which was awesome by the way. And she told us that the town was dying and they decided to do this theme. What is this? Oh, that's awesome. Christopher just brought me cheesesteak fries, so we're going to have to wrap this up because I'm going to need to eat some fries. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. Um, I forgot what I was saying. So Leavenworth was a, like, a planned thing. It wasn't a just this is where the people settled. So anyway, I thought that that was interesting. Okay, you won't miss much. I'm gonna I'm gonna be wrapping up because like I said, he he bought me fries. I sent him a meme that said something about cheese fries, so um I guess he decided to actually make me cheese fries. Okay. C block. I've got some florals going on here. Thinking about adding this. Woo! I love me some bling and who doesn't need bling in their Alcatraz photos right like Alcatraz photos need bling put those there see 
this is where this is where we know how my heart lies because um, I'm like, okay, <laughs> gotta stop running my mouth, which I've been happily doing now for a little while, and um, go eat the fries. <laughs> I promise you guys, I love you all, but fries are my weakness. They are my nemesis, and they're just, I just love fries, right? I just love fries. Okay. All right, now I probably could have lingered and chatted for probably another hour <laughs> just because I'm feeling, feeling very mouthy tonight. But this is where I'm gonna call this done. Um, I don't know, I've got space here if I will journal. I don't know if I will or won't. I've, like I said, um, Alcatraz is gonna end up being its own entire album. So I don't know you know, how much journaling is going to happen on every single page. Cause I don't like to just journal the same thing over and over and over again. Um, like that, it just drives me insane. Um, yeah. So I pulled out product I didn't use, but that's fine. Also, anybody remember when Jolie's look seven, 15, 2010, I love the wall of Jolie's by you and my AC more. It was just beautiful and I would just go and look at it and stare at it and dream about all the ones I wanted to buy. And of course I always bought the tiny ones because they were the cheapest. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to leave now. Thanks for hanging out with me guys. Thanks for letting me wax poetic about my past and my sewing machine and all the things that I had to say. Um, anyway, <laughs> I love you all. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys again next Wednesday for Wine Wednesday. And then, of course, all around the internet. Bye, guys.